<laughs> it's been a long time. I um I'm gonna actually I'm gonna join Moses on this prediction. I think I think Immortals are a really exciting team. I think right now they're one of the most interesting teams to watch. They are so creative in their play and as they were pointing out, very aggressive when they need to be. So I just um yeah, my faith in Envious as a team is somewhat shook. I love to see them prove me wrong here, especially if as we've been talking about Kenny is gonna be back in style. That's always fun to watch. We're headed right into it here with Envy gonna be starting on the T side and Immortals on the C T side. Second game of the E League major qualifier. This is gonna be exciting. One thing to keep in mind is that Kenny is sick right now. So, I mean, that is something just, I mean, he also worked out apparently and he can't really bend his arms, but apparently that's not a problem. Great. But he is a little sick right now. So just curious to see if that's gonna have an impact on his game uh, because he's got quite a cough going. So we'll see if that plays out because there is a lot riding on him. You're right, Kenny and his individual level. Feels like Envy are heavily relying on individual performance more than anything. It's not so much the team element anymore. It's not so much the tactical side. It's just Apex or Kenny going ham and literally carrying the team forward. So we'll see if they're capable if, uh, if Kenny's gonna show up and get the job done. Well, the smoke is in, but Bolts is gonna open up with a kill on NBK. That's gonna cancel part of the push here. They're still gonna try and run through Envy, but the backup is there. Actually, Henny and Lucas both on the flank, and that may be taking too long right now. Happy and Kenny have both picked up a kill. Where's the flank coming from? Steel goes down, so now the flank is not even a flank anymore. It's just gonna be an open push up the middle. They know already. Envy, what a great start here. Happy picking up a triple kill, and Henny gonna be going down to Envy to pick up the first round. That is very impressive, especially after losing NBK right off the bat. Yeah, tough break for NBK. I mean, that's just, you know, he's checking angles as well. He's doing his job. He's looking to the right to see if anybody's holding close. And it just so happens that he gets peaked at that exact moment and Bolts is there to hit the first shot. But that's the only kill that Immortals pick up in that CT pistol. And so, you know, not the perfect start for Immortals. Want to keep in mind that the last time these teams, these two teams faced on land on this map, Envious trashed Immortals, just crushed them. So, I mean, but that was over a month ago. So obviously, quite a bit of time uh, between then and now. There could have been quite a bit of work put in and some changes made as well when it comes to the mind games. But Envious should feel like, okay, well, you know, last time we dumpstered him, so, you know, they should have just a little bit more confidence coming into this matchup. Especially with an early round like that, must build something for them. Bolt has an HE, but he's on the other side of the map. So it's all on the four stack that's going on for Immortals, all on that B-bomb side. And Envy, they sense that something is up. They realize this is not worth it. They also have picked up four MAC-10s. So eventually they can just throw, I think, especially now six of where's no grenades, throw them into a bomb side and see what happens. Yeah, I'm actually not a huge fan of this. This is a very French-style tactic. G2 would like to do this as well, where they go heavy UMP, heavy MAC-10s, SMGs, basically. Even when, you know, Immortals could be going for Kevlar. They could be going for Kevlar in the second round. It's actually a very common strategy to see. And so those MAC-10s a whole lot less effective when you have the Kevlar in play. But so far, it's working out for Envy. They're doing a good job of just inching their way up onto the A site. And so it will be a plant. And now it's going to come down to Immortals. Can they get in here and actually get any kills? It doesn't feel like it. But I do agree, though, the four SMG strategy, it is pretty widely used. I'm just always concerned about it. They're doing a fine job on the French side, though, so we should be too concerned. Phelps has been spotted as well, and there's no way he's going to make it alive here. He's simply sandwiched in, and um, they've only lost Apex so far. So Envy are going to be just fine with this turn of events. Phelps getting dinked, and there's the pickup from Happy. So a quick 2-0 and here for the French side with Happy clocking it at 5-0-0. It's still early days, but, I mean, that's not too bad. Yeah, you're right. Still early days here. Only two rounds in. Immortals with the hard eco now going into this. They did have Henny prioritizing the AWP, which is pretty much expected. He's one of those oppers who it's just that's what he goes for. He goes for the AWP every chance he gets. And so managing your economy is what most of the game of CS is about, actually, even on top of the headshots. So we'll see him with that sniper rifle in the next round. But yeah, now it's, it's down to Immortals. Where do they want to stack, really? And it looks like it's going to be four on B once again here. So we'll see if Envy walk into it. They did hold on to three SMGs. Apex even skimping, just going for the 5-7, not even buying a rifle this round. This is some confidence. Look at how quickly <laughs> Happy has managed to work his way out into Connector as well. This is perfect. They see, I mean, there was a version of Envy where Happy would play this, this style a lot, where he'd just be running all over the place, very aggressive and very hard to read. And it seems like maybe that's what we're seeing here again. He's going to be that kill in the middle. That zones out any kind of rotation that Steel might have been calling for. That's just not going to happen. They didn't fully clear out long, though. Steel is still around. And he's got the angle now to go ahead and deny the plant. Oh, I think he's been spotted, but it doesn't matter. Free kill there. Apex not doing a thorough job clearing out long. That was his job. Oh. 
So it will eventually just cost the life of one player. They will be able to recover MBK's rifle as well, so it's not the end of the world. Sixer, you can see, goes for the Galil, but still, just a little, little, small little details here that could come back to haunt you. Phelps, how do you win that fight against Hampi? One of the most ridiculous fights. Even survives the grenade and gets the kill on Apex. What is going on? That makes such a huge difference. $1,200 more for Phelps to work with in the next round. You can see him. I mean, he just, he's got the full buy now. He has the incendiary to go for it. He could afford the more, the more costly grenades because of those two kills with that MAC-10. That is, I don't even know how he won the well, fight against no, Happy. $900, my mistake. He got one kill with the pistol, but then the second one with the MAC-10 still. Still very, very good for him, obviously. It's going to really help out. You see him with the smoke, the Molotov, and the HE grenade. And because he's playing over at that B bomb site, they're going to need those grenades just in case Envy go for a rush, which is given MBK's position and also the fact that Kenny has the AWP, it doesn't seem likely. They are, however, going to go for an early boost here, anticipating that Immortals will try and sneak their way in. A lot of grenades out back and forth, damage being exchanged. Changed, and I think Immortals coming out slightly ahead in that one. Yeah, that's such a nightmare situation when especially it's a silenced M4 on the other side of that smoke, so you're not seeing any tracers, you just don't know where the guy is. You can't even go for an effective spray back at him. So you're just kind of dancing. You saw Sixer and Kenny were just hopping all over the place trying to dodge bullets, trying to be a hard target to hit. And so Sixer are going to back off. Kenny's still boosted up on the box. Not quite sure if he's going to spot a target, but Henny has found one. NBK gets picked off again. NBK not having a good start to this map at all. Put a lot of pressure on the rest of Envy here. Also because Kenny's dropped quite low, 32 health. And if they want to make it onto that plateau, we can tell him all have no grenades left, but Envy don't know that. So if he goes too close here, he could end up going down. That's a nice one on Steel. Going to be able to take him down at least. But they're also running the clock kind of low, 45 seconds. Good kill for Lucas. Going to be taking down Happy and Steel. Find the shot on Kenny. He's out of the round. Phelps going to be charging in. Dropping Sixer and that leaves Apex in a one on four. He's going to have to do more damage here. He needs a couple of kills in. Not quite going to make it work. So Envy going to give up the fourth round. And Immortals only losing two players. And not peeking. That's the thing that I like to see there from Immortals. As soon as they figure out that Kenny's over there with the AWP, they stop peeking. They stop giving him a chance to find an opening for his team to create the, the opening, basically. They would allow Envy to just snowball onto the B site and run through the defense. Instead, they all just sit and wait. And you can see Envy, when they don't have that opening kill to start the ball rolling, they're just kind of meandering about. They aren't really... Uh, playing with like that direction, that decisive kind of move where they just explode. Instead, they kind of just peter out. So we'll have to see if uh, Immortals have found a key here to defeating Envy on this map. 3-1 lead for Envy. But still, Immortals with the key win there in the fourth. That would most definitely help them out. And Henny catching Sixer, who tried to put up a smoke. I'm not sure if he had to stand in the middle of that lane to do that. That's a tough scenario for Sixer, but that's a really common spot for Henny. He loves to go for the peak at Broken Wall with the AWP. It's something that you really just kind of have to counter. You have to know that he's going to go for that kind of play. You've seen him play Cobblestone enough on CT side to know that he likes to go for that aggressive peak. Put some pressure on Envy once again. How do they find a kill to get back into this? We haven't seen too many fights at drop yet. It seems like Envy are kind of avoiding that with the rifles here. Mm -hmm. Instead, they're all going to congregate towards the A side of the map where Bolt, Bolt and Henny both are actually hanging out. So not a bad defense. And Phelps not too far away and Connector as well. So he'll be able to rotate, rotate over quick, get onto Balcony, back up, bolster this defense on the A site. Envious are clearly thinking, well, we had success th three rounds running on A site, so let's just go back there. Uh, they might get countered. Kenny will find the opening kill, however. That's Henny gone. And that was with a boost in middle. Clever play coming out of the French team. That's what they need to do now. Phelps and Bolts both back here. And look at Bolts, he's hiding in the back. This is a play for the time right now. They know there's only 30 seconds left. Phelps is actually moving up. That's the bomb drop. That's a huge kill. That's going to buy him more time. Bolts has shown himself, though. If he had been hiding in the back, that might have actually been the round win here now. It's still up in the air. We got a three on three. And again, Steel and Lucas taking the long way around. That puts so much pressure on Bolts. He's going to drop the bomb one more time. Gets a headshot on the MBK. And what a huge play coming out in the back line here. Happy going to be going down. Bolts with the triple kill. Immortal's going to win the round. What? What a massive round. So important, and what a play from Bolts, keeping his cool the entire time, all the way at the back of the site. Envy clearly not worried about it, too worried, in fact, about the rotation coming in from Connector, or the one that they're assuming is gonna come in from Connector. I actually thought they were going for a different this is, shot. This is such a good start, but here's why they wouldn't have expected Bolts anyway, because they already got the kill on Henny, then they take down Phelps, who was pushing up. When that happens, you won't be thinking there's a third guy in that bomb side. You're yep. thinking, that's it. We killed the ult, we killed the rifler. Let's go. So, what a round. It's just Immortals with the hard counter. 
Just catching Envious off guard. That's going to force Envious onto pistols. Henny playing aggro versus pistols. It is a bit risky. If there was more than one target out there, they might have tried to rush him, but instead, he's going to be able to get out of there scot-free. Still, I mean, it is part of the play that you need to go for. If you're going to be that high-impact player, you need to be hunting for kills constantly, and Henny just continues to reign supreme. Another shot from him. He could set up the third. There it is. They're just peeking him one at a time. I mean, make the job easier for him. Come on, just stand still. <laughs> Having a really good time right now. Finally, some return damage. And Bolts is going to be there to pick it up. So now... Good round for Henny and also a chance, well, a definite chance here for Mortals to equalize the score and make it a 3-3. That's really good. You know, normally these CT rounds can be hard to pick up, but right now they're doing a fine job. The economy for Envy is so pressured. Even after ecoing this round, they could just p barely put together a buy here. Not going to be any AWPs either. Exactly. That's the painful bit is that Kenny's not going to have that op. So you're going to just have to rely on him with the rifle. I mean, he's still a capable rifler, but he is also one of those players that you really just need to get an op in his hands every chance you get. He is a primary opper. He was a god tier opper. Basically, the, the god tier player for a long period of time. But then he had the slump. He kind of dropped off after the op nerf and then never really was able to get back up to that level. It's only now where we're starting to see Kenny have that kind of impact again, but it's a far cry from what he, he was capable of when he was on the likes of Titan. You know, some of us and some of us still know that Kenny is still out there. He's still he's still in there somewhere. I'll never abandon him. I'll never give up hope. But it's tough, man. There are very few players who had the impact that he did. Just insane level where you talk to his opponents and they were petrified. They didn't want to do anything on the map because they were worried about running into Kenny. Like just just that one player was so good. It was he was single handedly just crushing opponents spirits. Look at the timing here. Apex has to push forward because there's a Molotov behind him. Gonna be a kill for Bolts as well. Great double Phelps taking out Kenny. Now the push for Envy been crippled here. It's Sixer and MBK left, and MBK goes down through the smoke. Doesn't even get a chance to make it through. And Sixer gonna be out next. Phelps with the triple kill. Four rounds in a row, and no bomb plants here mm -hmm. for Envy. They're not even getting the bomb down. Now they're now the struggle begins here for Envy where you're starting to see the system come into place for Immortals. They're winning their duels. Bolts continues to hit his shots. That's impressive. He's up to seven kills already. Phelps in the lead with nine, though. And it just seems like the high-impact players here have shown up. Phelps, Bolts, Henny even having a play. And Lucas and Steel, they're, they're, they're fine. So long as they're there to support the other three, right, and get a kill here and there themselves, but really just, you know, make sure that the system works around the other three, it's fine. Everything is going according to plan for Immortals. They're up 4-3 now. They've taken the lead on CT side, Cobble. And well, we have to look to Envy to find some kind of solution here because A site now, they got slapped the last time, so that's going to rock their confidence on this site, and nothing is working for them over on B. So I'm sure that Envy right now are feeling very limited. And what's the plan? How do they get back into a game like this one? They obviously have tech lines and armor, which normally people prefer to try and go drop like MBK just did, but you want to do it with more people just because you know you can get close to the target in the middle of it. Now they're running mid instead. They're going to be long range like this one. And Phelps is going to have a good time at it here with the AK. Even with the smoke's going up, that's a perfectly valid kill. And Bolts will pick up one and then two. Very good job. Turns around and couldn't get the third one there. But still, taking those tech lines long range is always going to be tricky. Yeah, and this is fine. That was, that was how you do it. Long range fights across the board for Immortals. You lose one player, but then the damage is already done. You've eviscerated the push. So a 5-3 lead now for Immortals. That was a very solid round coming in from Immortals, really. Like, just everybody kind of fighting from a distance, not getting too close, not putting themselves at risk. And so now we go into the buy round where Kenny, he has a glass cannon AWP. He finally had the money to go for the buy. Whereas, of course, Immortals, their economy is starting to take off. This is now the nightmare situation for Envy. You're feeling, you're feeling pressure because you're not able to get onto bomb sites, and you also know you're not getting many kills. And so Immortals, their economy is just going to keep getting better and better where... Envious, that, that pressure is just going to keep mounting on them. They know that they're not going to have an easy fight on their hands here. Shaping up very badly again. They did win the pistol round, which is why they have those three rounds. They need to find a way to build some confidence, get back in the game. Happy is alone over just controlling the B hallways. Why this time it seems like they might try and get that A long and mid control, which is not a bad idea. And actually that smoke is definitely a big challenge to Henny now. He's locked in here, has to go for the fight with the AWP. Gonna pick up one, he's still sandwiched in. Henny, that aim is all over the place. He still gets the shot on NBK. He's gonna run out the middle and gets picked up by Kenny. A blind shot through the smoke. There, actually, he came in from behind, sorry, getting the kill on Henny. It's very important that he picks that one up. Otherwise, who knows what would have happened. Still a four on three and bolts. 
Looking to take the fight, gonna take down Kenny and the bomb. A quick 180 turnaround to take down Sixer. And Bolts, can he get another triple kill? He's playing so well at the moment. I'm gonna leave it to Phelps. Wow, that, I mean, that double Bolts. for Henny, that's everything, isn't it, at the beginning? I, yes, you got, I mean, Henny, high impact, but re he really should just be getting one kill there and that's it. But you got to give it to Bolts. That is not an easy situation to be in where you got your back. I mean, you can see you've got your back exposed to long, you're waiting on the smoke, and he still manages to pick up two kills out of that before getting taken down. I mean, that A defense right now is really coming together for Immortals and individual level as well. I mean, Bolts is just annihilating everybody. And it doesn't matter where you put him. Over in connector, gets kills. Over towards B, no problem. On the A site, he's got it locked down solid. We actually have Envy going for a timeout now. Finally, they managed to tap out and say, enough is enough. We need to take a little bit of a break. They have four 30-second timeouts that they can use across the entire map, each of these teams. What you should also notice when you're watching at home here is how unpredictable it is for them to know where Henny is. Because we've been talking about him playing the B bomb side on that broken wall. This time, he's over at the A connector. It's just all very weird, you know, for them. Envy, they have to figure out, you know, where is that AWP going to be? How can we smoke it up? How can we put in good grenades? Mm -hmm. And he's all over the place. Now he's back at the B-bomb side again with Bolts being alone on this side of the map. And he can hear them coming. Good flash. He's actually going to pick up that triple and almost a quad kill. Bolts decimating Envy as they try and make their way through. Round is almost over at this point. Exactly. They, he even spots the bomb, so his teammates are instantly rotating over. Three players here on the A side now, on the other side of the smoke, and Lucas will pick up the next two kills. Nice little feel-good moment for him. You know, anti-eco kills. That's always, uh, that's always a warm and fuzzy feeling. But 7-3 for Immortals. On CT side, Cobble and Envious still look like they're kind of lost, like they haven't figured out what needs to change here. Apart from just getting headshots, that's the problem. They don't have, they don't seem to have anything like the tactics, right? Like any kind of set execute or anything that they can fall back on. But right now they're just getting out aimed, brutally so. 14 kills now for Bolts, 12 for Phelps. Another thing that's worth noticing is that Immortals aren't letting Envy almost at all get any plateau control. And so much of this map revolves around having plateau and drop and then pinching the B bomb site. That has never happened yet for Envy. They just keep getting shut down before we even get to that that point in the map, and that's really worrying. I think, and I really want to see Envy go for that. It is a well-tested strategy. You know, if you get one kill and drop or one on plateau, you're good to go. But it seems like they're got their minds set on this long push again, but they're still happy controlling the B hallways. And Bolts is holding close. Henny looking to connect her, but or rather to underpass, but nobody is there to greet him. And so Envious. They will wrap around, it looks like. Eventually, they're going to have to put a couple players through there. There has to be some kind of ramp pressure to open things up. But here we go. Now we're starting to see a set execute coming out here from Envious. And it's been it's about time. Oh, oh he misses the smoke. Apex, that's a key smoke as well. Bolts is going to find one, but he's traded. But still, now Balcony is open. It is. Oh, that's actually MBK coming out of the ramp. It looks like for a second that was Kenny going to be able to win that fight. That would have been great. But either way, it's a kill. And now it's a four on three. They should be able to get an easy enough bomb plant here. Sixer going to be going down. MPK dropped as well. What is happening? They can't let this one slip out of their hands. They did all the hard work. Now comes the easy part, as you'd think so at least. Kenny in the back line here, and he's going to be entirely alone. One versus two, and no bomb plant happening yet. He's finally going to be able to go for it here. Phelps and Lucas are going to be coming for him really quickly. He's got the AWP up on the bomb site. Grenade in. He's going to challenge that one. He's actually standing in the fire. Has to move in right in front of them. And Lucas will take him out. Those Molotovs, they were, you would even say that was a failed Molotov. It's yep. not supposed to land on that side. Oh, That's just no. A, sometimes you get a happy little break like that. And, well, you know, unfortunately for Apex missing smokes, that makes you worried as well. You know, when you're going to a set strat, where smokes are key, flashes are key. You need to hit every one of them right because that's according to plan. Maybe that smoke, because it's up there, nobody's looking balcony. If somebody had been up there, if, if somebody had been in position there for Immortals, it might have completely wrecked Envious. And so, I mean, but I now... I think even worse is the fact that you you try to do this strategy once and it didn't work because you ran into Henny over there. You do it again and it does work. They get the opening frags. They're in a five versus three. Everything is great. And then they still can't win the round, even when they're on the bomb side. It's hard to summon a lot of confidence after you lose a round like this. Like now, I don't know what Envy are going to do. They've lost eight rounds in a row, Samlo. What's happening? Yeah, no, it's just, this is now turning into the Immortal show. They've got the lockdown going. I mean, their money has taken a hit a little bit after that round, right? Two players sitting on 3K. But then you have $14,000 after a full buy sitting on Phelps. That's a nuts amount of money to fall back on. Happy, though. There we go. In drop as well. We'll find the kill on Lucas. So a little bit of pressure being put on the B site here from Envy.
A definite good start. Henny, though, is actually pushing over along, so they're going to try and see if they can get some information back here. This is a dangerous play, but if it works out, it means the rest of Immortals can be quite sure that the B push is going to be coming. They should know it by now. A little bit of a challenge coming in here. Steel going to be going down, but he gets the kill with the Molotov on Kenny anyway. Can they get rid of Phelps and Bolts on this bomb site before Henny gets here? That's the big question right now. They need one of those good headshots. F flashes are in. Phelps trying to run away, and somehow he will make it out. Bolts going to get the kill. Grenade raining in. He's going to catch anyone. It almost does. Look at the health now. Henny in the back line. He picks up one, and the rest, look at it. they got to combine nine health. Henny going to be pushing through with the AWP, and that was too much of a challenge. Happy saving them at the end with a triple. And Envy, after losing eight in a row, they make it work. But that grenade from Bolts, that could have been a double. Dude, you have Happy surviving with two HP and NBK surviving with seven HP. That's how close the margin is where Envy, they almost lose it. If Happy dies to Bolts, for example, if he doesn't survive with two HP, route is pretty much over because then you have Henny flanking on Plateau and there's the sandwich. Yeah. I mean, there's the, spi the finest of margins here. So Envy is, yeah, they got around, but they know full well how close it was to them not getting it and Immortals continuing to extend their lead. 8-4. Mortal's still in the lead on season side combo, but this is this is so close for Envy. It's time to get fired up. I mean, it might just be one round after losing eight, but you have to build some momentum behind it, and that's a good start there. Henny trying to take the jump peek into the corner, and Kenny was more than ready for it. Yeah, not communicated that they're using that boost just yet, it seems. The spot would have happened last round, but still something that could get lost in the chaos. Unfortunately, Henny not thinking to predict that angle. Lucas, however, will win the duel versus Happy and drop. And so that brings it back to a four on four. And Steel has now got the AWP hunting for a kill. Not sure if he realizes that Kenny is still up there. Six are doing a good job of just distracting him right now. Uh, oh. And Kenny will find the shot. So Envious, they're starting to make it work. Phelps trying to be the hero over here. If he can take down MBK, this would be a big duel. And Bolts, in the meantime, took down Apex. MBK's having a rough game. He's losing some of these duels that he really shouldn't. He's only at four kills right now. They're trying to see if they can bring it back. It's a three versus two, and they must clutch this Envy. If they lose this round, this whole game is going to be gone for them, basically. Lucas challenging already, but Kenny's picked up a kill, and Lucas out in the open. He goes for the double spray. Oh, no! They line up right in front of him, and that will be the round. Immortals pick it up. That resets the Envy economy. They can't really buy into this round, but at the same time, they need more than four on the T side. Maybe they should just force it up. Go for the B rush. It's. I think it's Tech Nine armor rush time here. Yeah, I agree. You, you, you got to go for the big play now. And it looks like Kenny misses the shot. That's so painful. Sixer trying to take the fight with this teammate, trying to draw the heat. And yeah, they're going for the force by here, Envy. They have to. No. Hey, just buy. Spend all your money. What is this miscommunication that's coming out right now from Envy? Sixer doesn't have Kevlar. Yeah, they're running through the fire right into the pit, and it will be Lucas only with the one kill. Phelps on the other side still, and he's been playing very well so far. Going to go back into it with a grenade, and with the help of Henny, they clear out drop, leaves Happy, and he is no more. Steel will take him out. Double kill for Phelps. That's 10-4 in favor of Immortals going into the 15th round. Right now, it's Phelps and Bolts who are just doing all the work here. 17 kills on either player. On each, yeah, that's nuts. That's a sick level that's coming through here. It's kind of like what we saw from the first game of the day, actually, Spirit, where Davkost was going ham and then nobody else was there to back him up. In this case, it, it was Dignitas who had the two players that were hitting the shots, Rubino and Cajun B doing a lot of work, high double digits for both of them. So it didn't even matter that the rest of the team are in single digits. If you got two guys going ham together, then you're, you've got that winning combination if you're relying on the headshots. Immortals right now, they have that kind of play going through. 10 to four, double digits, CT side, and it's gonna be more, Phelps. The flash opening, and he gets the spray on Sixer and nearly takes down Kenny with him. Such aggression. And again, they're challenging this every time. Phelps actually running into the fire to try and defend the plateau right now. They're jumping down all sides of him. The chaos is complete at this point in time. Nobody knows what's happening anymore in that plateau fight. Kenny will be going down as the last man there. Bolts picking up a triple to end it on 20 kills. 11-4 in favor of Immortals. A stunning first half coming out of the Brazilian Zydeo. And again, they haven't qualified for a major yet. This it could very well be the, the time that they managed to do it here. Strong performance early on. It's like what we were talking about, right, Anders, where each map is so important now for these teams. You win three maps, you're through. You lose three maps, you're out. And so every map is crucial. You need to get that 3-0 record and get out of this because the, the qualifiers, the teams that are in this qualifier, you have several teams that are top tier teams in the world. You don't want to run into them later on. You need these wins. 
You absolutely do. And if you look at the head-to-head -head here between Bolts and Kenny, I mean, the ADR of his revolt's really impressive, but the fact is Kenny's been playing so well. He's got 13 kills, Happy's got 12. The problem is the drop-off after the two top French players there. We have Apex, NBK, and Sixer, who combined between them have 13 kills. That is not enough, so we need the last part of Envy to really step it up. And I think what, what's most shocking about this, uh, if to me, is NBK. He's lost so many battles that he should have won. Mm. I feel like he's such a stable player normally. I, I, I need him to wake up right now. Yeah, it's tough. It doesn't feel like he's present. I mean, I remember several times, at least in the first half, where he's doing his job, right? He's planning the bomb. Oh, oh so suddenly his teammates didn't check a close corner and he gets shot in the face. Uh, that kind of sucks. Or he's checking an angle. He turns just as a guy comes around the corner, shoots him in the side of the head. I mean, he's had a couple tough breaks, but you're right. There have been some opportunities for him, and he hasn't quite delivered. It's been quite Four a few... kills from MBK. I mean, he's usually the king of consistency. Yeah. He's usually the man to count on. He's always going to be there, that rock. No, I definitely agree. Now... They're going to be playing on the CT side. Immortals, if they win this pistol, it's pretty much done for. If Envy win it, I'd be excited to see what Kenny can do when he has the AWP on the CT side here. We got to keep in mind as well, Envy won the T side pistol. Just saying. They have four rounds at the end of the first half, and they won the pistol. And if you look at it, I mean, out of all the 11 rounds that Immortals won, only one of them was a bomb plant for Envy. There's only one round where they where they managed to get that bomb down. That's Even that is sort of shocking, right? Soul destroying. I, what a reverse. I mean, at Immortals right now, they, are, they must be feeling so good about the situation. They've got a massive lead. They're on the favored side of the map now, 11 to 4. And well, now we go into the T side pistol. Immortals patiently waiting to see if Envy are going to go for some, any kind of tricky play. Doesn't seem like it, but it does seem like Immortals want to go for that pincer movement onto the B site. I'm not loving this from Envy. They're so close in here, but good shot from Kenny. Six are helping out as well. They're keeping Lucas back. He can't connect, and he has the bomb. If he goes down, it's a disaster. NBK, there's a double. Takes down Steel and Henny both. That's what they need. NBK to come alive. He is going to be going down. Lucas trying his best, but it's just too much to handle. Apex will drop him at the end, and Envy will win the round. Now, just before that worked out, I mm -hmm. did say I didn't like it from, from Envy, and the reason is, on this map, you have such a lot of opportunity with the USP to put a lot of distance between yourselves and the incoming blocks, yeah. but one of the places you can't do it is obviously in that drop. So my fear is when three Ts come in like that with blocks close range, if you miss even one or two headshots in the beginning, you're out. You're, you, can't, you can't win that fight anymore. So it worked out just fine, but uh, I was worried for all of two seconds. <laughs> for all of two seconds until, yeah, two headshots. And yeah, then there it is. There you are. Okay. I mean, sometimes that's just the way it works if you're going to get the headshots. I mean, one thing here is that Envy no longer on the CT side, or I mean, on the T side, where they have to come up with tactics and try and get onto the bomb sites. Now they can kind of just set up and look for headshots, which is something with, I mean, the players that are on this team, NBK, Apex, Happy, Kenny, I mean, these guys, heavy hitters, right? So they should be able to get into those duels, those favorable situations for themselves. Another detail to note is that Envy have a bit of a weird sort of strategy going right now, where Happy is calling T side and NBK is calling CT side. So there's a change, there's like a switch of leadership in the half, which feels just a bit odd, but that's how they're working it right now. So we'll, we'll have to see if, uh, this, if this CT side pans out for, uh, for NBK and the rest of the team. Yeah, um, I mean, if, if they can make it work, then why not? Uh, maybe they just are experimenting a little bit, although now might not be the best time for it. This qualifier means everything to all of these teams. Apex with a good long range spray. Gonna get the kill on Lucas. They will get the refrag though. Kenny ah. ends up going down and happy next in line. Now Apex hiding by the cannons. He's got no backup. It's not coming in just yet. He's gonna go a bit aggressive. And actually that's a perfect move. Otherwise, he would have been shot in the side of the head by Phelps and they cleaned it up just fine there. Enemy only losing two players. Starting to build a bit of an economy and Immortals not able to buy yet. Yeah, very well played there by Apex. You can just see the experience from him closing off the angle, hiding behind the hut, looking to see where the rest of them are gonna come from. I like it. Curious, I'm not sure if this is a tactical pause. That'd be pretty surprising to have one coming so early, so I have to assume it's a technical t timeout. Yeah, it looks like a monitor issue came through there at the end. So admin team are trying to fix it pretty quickly here. I hope that that's not gonna be something that bugs out for too long. Don't want, don't want to let either team really cool off right now. No, definitely not. Those uh, those thumb screws are just pain, aren't they? Why why has no one ever figured out how to make better ones that actually you can screw in with your thumbs? They're always they're always weird. There's yeah. I just think you know like it's it's aptly named. 
you know, torture device. <laughs> it is torture, isn't it? And then, uh, yeah, there are thumb screws that are actually torture to put in. It's perfect. You know, that's the thing, man. Engineers, they're sharp. They see these sorts of connections. <laughs> they made it just to prank people. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Like, this won't be effective, this but it will be funny. This was a particularly sadistic engineer when he designed this. Like, I really, I really hate them, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure people hate the torture device as well, man. So, like, you know, fair enough. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll take your word for it, Samla. What, um... I wonder what we'll see out of Immortals when they do get rifles. I I think because they have such a big lead, they have more of a buffer to try all sorts of things, right? Yeah. So the, I think they could obviously go straight for very aggressive B-type play, which I think they've, they've done in the past. But at the same time, they have to expect that Envy will be putting everything into to try to win early on. Like, please. Please. <laughs> it's not even ugly. Um, I don't know. Would you wear that? Are you kidding me? He's got little he's got little diffuser pincers. I mean, come on, it's adorable. That's not an ugly sweater. I don't know for sure, but I think that actually is animal cruelty if you put a sweater on a chicken. I think that's <laughs> I don't think that's that's reasonable. Somebody called Peter. I think this is a sort of situation where the chicken is actually be pretty happy. You know, considering what usually happens to chickens when they interact with humans. I mean if he's just getting a sweater put on him, that's cool. He still has his feathers, Anders. Alright. <laughs> We'll leave it at that. Lucas is going to be walking in, but so far it's looking pretty good here for Envy. They're trading favorably, and they have the armor advantage as well. So, Volts and Lucas, it'd be great if they could get a bomb down. Certainly help their economy going into the next round, but they'll get by either way. Only Sixer is on the B bomb site, but he's in such a safe position by the chicken coop here. I don't see how they could really find him. Yeah, as long as he doesn't peek out, he's got every advantage over that easy kill. On to Bolts. And now while Lucas obviously knows that he's over there, but the damage is done, that drops the bomb out in the open. And so they're still waiting to see where Lucas is coming from. Kenny holding close to connector. And Sixer, what is this? They're not spotting each other. They don't have the x-ray. There we go. Took Lucas a little bit, but Sixer moving around will end up costing him his life. Three shots from Lucas. That is so funny. See, Lucas, he didn't even go for like a quick flick. He was like, wait a minute. Yeah, there's something. <laughs> There's a disturbance. That's very interesting. Oh, the flashbang actually was so good. If Apex had gone down, just who knows. Does work out in favor of Envy, but a scary round there. They lose three players and almost the last two as well. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is Kenny. Kenny's cough is wild. Like, he's got a, he's got a serious cough going on right now. And still, he's, he's hitting this shot. 16 kills on the board right now for him, but still. I mean, what I think the real concern is that... Uh, Apparently for Nip, both Freiburg and Pyth got food poisoned last night or something like that, and so they've been they've been having a real rough time. Nip will be the uh, fifth match of the day versus Renegades later on in the afternoon. If I find out that they've been you know eating seafood or something like that, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on them. It's their own fault. No, no. mercy. No, stay safe. Just eat nothing but cereal before your match. Just something that can't really harm you, or eat nothing at all. 11-7 is the scoreline here, and what a way to open. Lucas knocking out NBK. This is just not his day, is it? No, Nathan is having a real tough time right now. 11-7 for Immortals. Both teams bought up, and you're right, NBK already gone. What do you do now, basically, if you're NBK? I guess the rotation is going to come through. They're going to take the risk and put three on B. Kenny not too far away with the AWP either. He can rotate over quickly enough. But still, they have a pretty big advantage now, Immortals, going into this B-take. Yeah, and we have gambled a fair bit, I would say, doing this, but it might very well pay off in just a couple of seconds here. The drop is down on Phelps. They must have heard that. That's why the grenades are coming in. 45 seconds here. They can just get an opening frag, but instead Phelps picks up Happy. Shaking your head, Sam, because that is not what they needed here. Envy down to 35 seconds, and Immortals are really pushing it close to the clock right now. They've got to be careful. Sixer is up here, boosted on the box, but he has to cover every angle. There's no one there to help him out. Sixer charges off the box. He knows they're coming in from behind as well. I mean, he tried to do the best he can, but he just can't make it work. And Kenny has to run with the AWP. Immortals, well played round. Yeah, that's where you kind of you're just clenching because he gets the kill on Happy, and he knows somebody's holding connector. And there's only three players left alive, right? So, I mean, you know, for Immortals to take that long to go for the B site, they're, they're just obviously worried about the stack and walking into a trap, but still, I mean, it's a lot of info to go off of. Cutting it that close, imagine Sixer gets a kill. Maybe Kenny hits the cross shot, you know? You've only got 20 seconds to get that bomb planted. That's where you start sweating a little bit. 
But Kenny not going to hit the shot this time around, unfortunately for him. Apex is going to find one, but then Phelps gets the drop on Kenny, so... And they know exactly where Apex is holding from as well. They can afford to lose one more player here at Mortals, and it's not even going to happen. Phelps wins the duel straight up. Three kills for him in the round. Phelps continues to deliver. Between him and Bolts, it really has been their show this first... I mean, this map. Throughout the entire first half, they dominated Envy outright. Multi-kills and multiple rounds. Phelps and Bolts just running the show, and they're continuing to do so here in the second. Yeah, they're doing an extremely good job. And with that win, it puts Envy... Actually, Apex had so much money in the bank that he actually goes for uh, an M4 buy, even with armor. That's just how much he had. So that's very interesting. It cost him almost $5,000, but um, maybe it could make a difference. I, I feel like if you do this, though, you have to go hunt for the kill. It's not enough to wait around. I want him pushing somewhere to find that one. Phelps... Look at the wrong way. Six are going to be coming in, but he didn't have the angle for it. And now, almost getting sprayed down with the AK, but they do get the kill on Phelps. Yeah, still well played between the two of them. But that's some info. They know that Sixer is lit and that Kenny's low as well. Apex with the M4, but Eddie's waiting for him! The flank is completely shut down! Oh, no. That... That was exactly everything that I wanted. They do the boost, they go in from behind, they, they try and find the kill with the M4. I think that was everything about that idea was great for Envy, and Henny just destroyed all of it. I'm glad that you specified the idea as well, because I was about to say, you know, what do you have against Apex, Anders? <laughs> what do you have against Apex? Everything that you wanted, really. Everything that I wanted. I love Apex, man, but that was... Um, That's brutal. That is really brutal. I'm, I'm glad that we didn't get to see a face cam for Apex, because I can only imagine what his face looks like when that happens. He knows they're all there. That if he gets, if Henny doesn't turn around, that's probably at least a double kill, and then the round probably is theirs. They can buy in this round anyway. Not the most impressive buy. They've got no Molotovs for one, and no AWP on Kenny, which is always a shame. Let's see if they can make it work regardless. Oh, a turn of pace here. Steel, what is this? Charging out into the open, and now Sixer does manage to pick up the kill, but I like it. Just really trying to throw a curveball there. Doesn't necessarily pan out, but then that forced a rotation. Four players over on B, and now they can hit the timing on A perfectly here, Immortals. They're already through. Phelps with that shot through the unbroken vent is such a strong play. But Kenny happy. Oh, sorry, Apex coming in through it, and there's Happy flanking through and taking down Henny. So a huge change of pace here for Immortals in both A and B bomb side. And it very nearly worked, but um, a very good job in the entirety of Envy actually helping out in this round. Bolts now alone, one versus three. Shouldn't be possible. I really like the idea from Immortals. That was sick. There's no hesitation. Sometimes you see teams hesitate, right, where they throw somebody away, and there, there's the obvious rotation on the CT side. You have your opening, and then teams hesitate. They don't take advantage of it. This time, Immortals, they, I mean, it just didn't work out for them when it came down to the kills, but the idea was there, and the execution was very nice. So, we got to give it to them. Bolts trying to do the best that he can here to hunt down Happy. It's not going to happen, unfortunately, for him. He's down at 22 HP. That was pretty sick if he had got the spray, because he actually started the spray before the smoke evaporated, so it could have been very interesting. I don't know why they're still alive. <laughs> Happy walking into it. With only 25 seconds and only 22 health, this uh, does not seem likely at all. The bomb has to be picked up and planted as well. Going to throw out a bit of a grenade, but on the other side, Apex was hiding just at the edge of his, so... 13 to 8, and the money for Immortals, they can still buy. Yeah, they can still go for it if they want to. So, eh, yeah. Yeah, they do. They have the money for it. I was about to say, like, it looked like a half buy coming up for a second there, but they will have the money for the AKs. A Galil on Phelps, perfectly acceptable buy. And we have to see how Immortals decide to change it up if they're going to be going for the all out aggression again. Very quick strategy, like we saw in the last round, or if they want to start slow playing it. Letting Envy stew. One thing that's nice is that Kenny's got Henny's AWP from that round. So he's got that off once again. Kenny's got Henny's. Not an easy thing to say, is it? The spray from six are catching Phelps at the edge of the smoke. The Brazilian player is really aggressive when it comes to that plateau control. They just try and challenge that smoke every time. Steel did it last round. This time it was Phelps, and it's not quite working out. Sixer. Could just fall back and play this one safely. There's a lot of backup on this bomb side. Now the grenades are coming in. What a jump in from Steel. Puts that AK right in his face and it's gonna end up taking him down. But Kenny takes one. They know he's back here. Can they finally get rid of him? The grenades are raining in. They wanna see if they can firebomb him out of there. He takes someone with him. Henny out of the round. And now Steel, one versus three. Just trapped and sandwiched in. And it's NBK to close it out. What a round for Envy. Very well played. Well, 
23rd round here, and the enemy are starting to gain a bit of traction. They won two rounds in a row here, and now finally the Brazilian team is going to be taking a timeout. See if they can maybe just calm down a bit. I think they're losing too many fights over at Plateau early on, though. Yeah, that's that's the second time now where Phelps hasn't really had any joy over there. I mean, and it's cutting it close every time as well. This time it was a bit more decisive for Sixter. The last one, hey, it could very well have gone, opened up and got that first kill there for Immortals. I don't think that Immortals are necessarily doing anything wrong. It's just, you know, Kenny is just that kind of opper. If you give him a chance, he will find the shots like that. I think another thing that went wrong, I actually think Immortals ended up using two Molotovs to bomb out Kenny. I think the first one was too far to the right, so yeah. he could stay there. And there was only the second one that forced him out. So maybe that was also a tiny glitch in the... In the Matrix. In the machine there, in the Matrix. Steel has the one flashbang, so I'm, I reckon we'll see a fairly quick B push here. Yeah, it's looking like it. No fear, only dreams. Get in there and look for the fight. And if the whole team groups up, if the whole team groups up and goes together, I would like to see that. But instead, it's going to be looking for the Deagle. Mad spray from him, but Kenny will find the shot. Six are up close to the M4. Gets overrun, though, but that's when we see those Tech Nines come into play. Very well done here. Kenny picks up a kill. NBK still going to get knocked down. He did get a double kill this time, so anything I think can help his confidence is going to be worth it. Apex to pick up one at the end. 10 13. Suddenly, this is a very interesting game. Kenny's still playing at a very high level, but now, if you look at the scoreboard, NBK and Sixer are starting to actually pick it up here. They're doing a much better job. Yeah. It's, they can still do this. NBK kept this cool. And this is, this is going to be the grind, right? They, they had an atrocious T side, 11-4 Immortals at the end of the first half. But now Envy, they're getting into their element, that CT side where they can just have the setup, they can count on their players to just hit the shots. They don't have to worry about tactics or timings or anything of the sort. It's, it's, it's a straightforward affair now. Steel alone holding on the other side and Henny ready for a potential peak. Um, we'll see what they could do. Kenny's going to be setting up a smoke that looks like it's going to be fairly deep. That might be setting where Henny's holding. So will they try and fight this Immortals to keep control of it, or are they just going to let it up? I think you just keep burning burning time off the clock. I mean, look at the nade usage coming in from Envy. You still have Apex holding on to quite a few, but that, he's over on the A site. On the B site, there's hardly any utility left. And so if you're Immortals with a more than a minute left on the clock, you've done a fairly good job of bleeding Envious's nades. Now just keep calm, take the time to wear out that smoke, and then apply the pressure. Still have to find a way to get past Kenny. Is it going to be a straight all battle? You see Henny's on the other side expecting a push up here. They're burning a lot of time off the clock. In fact, now Kenny going for a shoulder peep with the knife just to be that much quicker when it comes to strafing back into it. 40 seconds on the clock here. Kenny... I think he's going to have to be the linchpin once again. The smoke going to go up to try and block him out. He doesn't get that kill, but now they are coming for him. They're pinching in between that drop like we were talking about earlier. Grenades are raining in as well. 30 seconds and Immortals, they have to go for it now. Otherwise, they're simply going to run out of time. And Steel opening up with a big double. But the Refrax coming in. Apex lining him up for the triple. And that's Henny and Bolts left. No scope, I think, coming out of Henny there. And he's all alone. One versus two with just 15 seconds left. The bomb is not down yet. And they push through. There's Apex. Ace for him. He picks up the whole team. What a way to get back into it. And considering how much of a miserable first half Apex had, this is outstanding. This time the flank works. And there's, look at that. He catches them stacked up. It couldn't get any prettier than that. That's how it was supposed to work in the last time when Henny shot him down and turned it around. Apex, this is the kind of big round that Envy are so desperately in need of. They need their star players to step up and make the difference. Apex is definitely one of them. And so an ace for him in a key round here, and that forces Immortals into a half by scenario now with the Tech Nines, Kevlar, few nades. But this is so tough. If Envious start to get fired up, or their individual stars start to hit the shots, Immortals, what are they gonna do? Because Bolts and Phelps, Phelps has had a real tough time so far in this second half in the T side. And when you get a double opening like Steel just did, you, you know you should win the round. That should be it, and then... Out of nowhere comes Apex. Now they're going to try and push through with just the pistols here. Kenny, they're getting very close at the moment. And actually, Luke is going to be able to kill us. A nice shot, but still, Immortals are doing a lot of damage in this round. Going to take down Apex as well. This is not looking good. Two on two. At least the bomb is not down. Sixer, good spray on Phelps. And that leaves Henny one shot range. Takes out Happy now. 
One versus one. They both have a double kill and so much time left. Flashbang gonna go in. Six are on the other side. He couldn't see a single thing, but Henny didn't know that. And now a lot of noise being made. And the M4 picked up as well for Henny. And they're really playing this one to the limit right now, almost catching each other out. Look at the timing, Sixer back around the statue. Is he going to be able to do it? Henny can almost see him. This looks like it's choreographed, and now the spray comes through. Henny out of there, but he gets a headshot! Oh my god, that's a triple for Henny, saving the round for Immortals. You know, one on two, what a clutch. It's the, literally the only way that it happens as well, because Sixer was tagged. So one shot headshot was possible with the M4. That's all that had to happen. Ah, no clutch possible. There we go. <laughs> the excitement palpable here. 14 to 11. That is such a big round coming out. Wow. That's some emotion that we don't always get to see, I feel like. Some teams are a bit more held back, but that one was definitely a hard blow to Envy. They're not out of it yet, but... It's getting close now. Uh, they bought yeah. everything in this round. Exactly. They've gone for the force buy to keep Immortals off a match point. 14 to 11. And Envious with two rifles and three pistols, a handful of nades to work with. They're desperate. That was a huge round to win for Immortals. What a clutch coming through. And so now, well, it is. this is just going to really fire up Immortals as well. They're a team that thrives in that sort of scenario, that high pressure situation where one of your players really comes through. They're so difficult to stop after that. Lucas and Steel setting up a bit over at Danger while Happy and Apex are on the A bomb site. So a bit of a switch up, but look at where the bomb is. I mean, a big indication that this is going to be a, a deep round for Immortals, that they're actually trying to throw them for a loop. They're making so much noise and Happy taking a lot of damage in that corner with the Molotov. And now they're starting the road pick back. They're going to keep Lucas over here while the rest of the team pushing in. Sixer is in the corner with the Deagle. Oh, and he misses the initial shot there, trying with the spray. Felt turning around and getting the headshot. This is a very nice round coming out of Immortals. They planned this all along. Really big fake into the A-bomb side or at least making a lot of noise over there. And then four versus one here. Happy going to be going down in steel and bolts to close out the round. Immortals now at 15-11. Beautiful. I mean, this is the second time. The first time, it was that hard fake towards the B side, only to go towards A and it not work out for them. This time around, Immortals showing some depth. They've had a few straightforward rounds in this, but they've also shown that they can go for the fakes. And Envious clearly caught flat-footed, just over-rotating all the time. And this time, it really doesn't work out for them at all. 15-11, to 11, match point, four of them for Immortals now. And well, if Envious, look at that. Just pistols. Flashes, they're desperate now. This is where you kind of have to go for a stack if you're Envy, really. You put it all on you put it all on the line. You go everybody B side, everybody A side, something, and just hope that Immortals come and walk into it. Yeah, it's really rough at the moment. They did have a bit of a spread early on, but you can tell they're gravitating towards the B-bomb side of the moment. Happy with the Deagle. In the past has definitely been known to hit those Deagle shots, but um, now would be a great time for it. If they win this round, Envy, there is a realistic chance that we could go into overtime. Because uh, Immortals, their economy is not exactly great either. So if they lose this round, then they won't have many more buys left before it's overtime here. Still not out of it, Envy. They need to remember that. MBK certainly is remembering that as a good kill. Doing more damage. Luke is very nearly out of the round. A great job here from NBK. He's been very absent, but now it could be a good time for him to save the team, maybe. Happy holding close underpass as well, so if they do go for the rotation, he's going to be in a position where he can potentially catch them off guard. Apex has fallen off connector. But they're still making so much noise over here towards the B site that Envious still think that this might be a B hit. They are not sure. Happy is about to run into the man carrying the bomb. This is this could be the big moment that changes everything, but he doesn't actually spot him. Instead, it's going to be Steel because there was a smoke down. Happy had no idea. Still gets out for free and still gets two kills. Oh, no. That was the big play coming in from Immortals. They managed to get the bomb onto the site now. The Molotovs are up to buy even more time. It's a three on three, and the bomb goes down with 20 seconds left. Envy, it's all or nothing right now. Every game matters in this format, and Kenny opening up, shutting down Henny. That's a strong start. Steel here gonna be going down. Kenny finding one more headshot, and Bolt is miles away from the action. Can they get the defuse in? He's gonna tap it one. They don't realize where he is. Bolt is running in, just trying to see if he can get that kill. He sprays down Kenny, and he's gonna get the kill. Triple for Bolt, and 16-11. Immortals get the first win here against Envy. Hey, Kenny, you can't...